Hey y'all, what's going on? Okay, so I made the Empire video last night when it went off. Went through the whole shit. 32 minutes long. Too fucking long. And by the way, he just got in, so he's in the bed. And y'all gonna hear some snoring. Some of us at right with me. Um, and you can see me moving, but no sounds. I don't know what I did wrong, if I pressed something wrong or whatever. Um, I believe what I did was I was trying to take, I don't like them little black bars you see on the side. So it has an option in this, uh, UCAM software or whatever, where, you know, you can take that out. I hit that shit and it was like, oh no, bitch. <laughs> Anywho. So, let's go, y'all. I want to talk about the mob wives right now and then just kind of get whatever happens just happens. Okay. Seven something this morning, I watched the mob wives for the second time. And I'm trying to understand. I know that I stopped watching the shit for a little bit because it just was giving me too much. Okay. So, I'm trying to understand exactly why Big Ange is holding on to Miss Natalie or whatever her name is, Miss Honey Cabbage, so hard from Philly. I'm, for the life of me, I can't get it. Okay, let's go. So we know from last week and this week we have, we know last time, was it last time? Where Han Odu got into it, Miss Kern and her boyfriend or whenever it was. Let's just, let's see where I want to start at, y'all. Because I, y'all know I don't be wanting to do the whole shit. But just to kind of go into this shit. Now, we know that Drita then found out from doing the makeup of the other girl that they're about to bring in who has the same name as this other messy bitch. She just said, oh, watch out for her, this and that and other. And they set that up real well. It was some Mona Scott shit, the way they set that tacky ass shit up. Okay, so... She's like, well, she called the parole, you know, her boyfriend's PO officer, blah, blah, blah. You know, instantly here comes the rat. Oh, she's a rat, 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 rat. And I just want to throw some motherfucking rat poison on just everybody who says fucking rat. I am so over that shit. Like, I'm not for that shit either, but do we got to say, I mean, I guess my issue that I have is this. It's other women calling other women rats because they man was a rat or they dad was a rat. Not necessarily they ratted, but they knew somebody in the family. And I can't, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just don't, like, she didn't actually rat, but you knew somebody. I, okay, let's move forward. Okay, so Drita's like, now I'm mad as hell. She didn't let everybody know. You know, last time, Renee was like, mm-hmm, that's what I've been saying the whole time. I've been telling y'all that this bitch was a rat-ass gutter whore. You know how they go into they colugrams. That gutter, gutter rich, uh, frog face, liver lip, buzzard face, bitch. I knew she was garbage. I told y'all she was garbage. You know, this whole shit. Okay, so Drita in this episode, her and Big Ange is going to go and go to old girl's house. Now, she apparently has moved out wherever they went. She didn't move to New York, huh? And her boyfriend, which did y'all know a few weeks back, a week or so back, he got stabbed and his face was cut right here from what I know. That's just kind of like you snitched on somebody from what, you know, I kind of read or whatever. That's what they were saying in the news story or whatever, you know, he was sliced and this and that and other. Um, this is about a week or so ago. And honey, whoever it was, they was fucking mad at his ass. He was stabbed and his face had been sliced. But needless to say, he lived through the shit. Thank God. I think you need to let that bitch he's with go. Y'all just think she's a rotten whore. Y'all know what that is. That is pretty brown eyes. That Dasha. It's my favorite. I kind of want a deeper brown. So if anybody know of a little bit deeper brown than this super matte, leave it below. Okay. So Drita's like, mm, 
I'm going, I'm going to hit somebody in the face. And she, you know, she stayed talking about my right hook and left hook. And girl, like Brittany was saying, she was talking to me. She was like, oh, Dorita ain't got no hands like that. Like, did she get her ass kicked or wasn't current handling that ass or whoever when that whole fight went down? Girl, I don't know. I don't know whether you got hands or not. You know, but you just keep mentioning that shit like you Floyd May Merriweather or some shit like that. Like, that's a great attribute or whatever. Yeah, you wanted to box and boom, boom, boom or whatever. But girl, I've about had it. And Drita is one of my favorites. You know, I, I told y'all from the beginning. She was. Anywho. So they go to the door. Now, before this, when old girl's grand moved to New York, there was a scene where she was like, I'm sick of these bitches. Exactly what bitches was you talking about, Drita and Ange? And I'm wondering if when old girl went down there to be, when Big Ange had her show, the way Big Ange is taking up with this bitch, was you and this bitch Sutherland or something? Bumping cool cops or what? What the fuck? Because you rooting for this whore too hard for her to be fucking new. And like on the last episode when Victoria Gotti came in in that hideous suit, <laughs> she's just uncomfortably built anyway. But she was realistic. You know, but I feel like Ange could have told Renee, oh, I got her coming or whatever. You know, I was just like, oh, I'm so over them trying, the women trying to play good fellas. You motherfuckers is repping for this shit harder than the men. And really and truthfully, truth be told, the men are tight-lipped about that shit. Y'all, we gonna have a sit down and this and that and other. Renee, you live for that kind of shit. Bitch, you ain't the boss. Shit, you ain't even a boss, bitch. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bitch. Um, you know, you all right with me. But, honey, I'm tired of it. You two all over the motherfucking place, bitch, at the very... Girl, get your motherfucking emotions together. Anywho... And just kind of dabbling in that, when they sat down, as she was listening, Renee was like, what about letting outsiders in and treating them this way and that way and blase? And she's like, yeah, no, I'm not for that. You know what I mean? Letting new bitches come in and just, you know, just uh, act a plum fool. Bitch, please, you know. Honey, you ain't been out your package. You know, kind of try to get to know all of us. Let us see where you're coming from. Bitch, you're not going to come in the door and we're going to be best buddies. You got me fucked up. And Big Ange, are you just thirsty for a fucking friend? And girl, you know, I ride with you, Ange, girl. I ride with you, but you've been acting a motherfucking fool for mine here lately. Now, so when it was all said and done, I thought they kind of worked the shit out, but you can tell that Big Ange is never going to be the same. Even then, it's never going to be the same with her and Renee. Um, because she just, whatever this shit is, this shit is deep-rooted. With that being said, going back to that, and I can understand why you felt like she was fake, you know, call, calling you a clown and you thought it was about your fate. Girl, the truth be told, girl. Girl. And really, you clown your motherfucker self. You had all that work done, girl. You didn't need all of this. You didn't need all of that. Shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, he is fucking cow. Baby, please get on your side because you are calling them. Um, I'm just saying, y'all, I like Big Angie. And if you know, you know she's my favorite. She is my number one. But, girl, are you feeling insecure about it? You don't want too far. And this is why people need to pump the motherfucking brakes when they talking about going to get shit done and having all this motherfucking work done. Especially when you're talking about your fucking face. Because, bitch, we can dress them titties up, girl. But that, honey, I don't know if they can reduce or suck that shit back. But I know you feeling some kind of way personally to feel that way. And part of me want to agree with you that Renee was saying it because of your face and the way you was acting. I agree. But I do know it's a, 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 a rough patch for you, a, a raw patch or whatever, you know, moving on along. So when they get in there, they're talking to her, and she begins to, uh, Drita begins to tell her, 
what old girl said. She begins to say, you know, she going to hit with the Philly girl, bitch. Oh, that bitch, that slut. She, you know, and basically at the end of the day, both of you whores are probably sluts. You know, shit. The fuck? Now the day, slut ain't no motherfucking uh, shade, bitch. Look like whores is out here trying to be the number one slut. So, honey, say some other shit. Call her non-slut. I'm just saying. You know, say the bitch is harping pussy or something. Because nowadays, honey, it is grand to be a slut and a whore. I'm just saying. Let's just be real. The way it seems, you know what I mean? It's like young ladies are bucking to be that bitch. Come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Anywho, that's a horse of another motherfucking color. And that's a video of another time. Um... So she begins and she's like, you know, uh, uh, she's like, oh, I did that because, you know, physically I was being abused and this and that. Another instantly, Angie's like, oh, you know, she goes to a, oh, you know, bitch, I can't do you no more, girl. You know, and Drita's like, okay, that will be the one thing. But Drita kept it funky. She was like, now, I still wouldn't have done that. He'd have just been bleeding. You know, we'd have shot that shit out. Immediately, this bitch decides that she wants to get dirt on old girl. And this is when they bring her back in it. And you see in the house, and I know instantly, as soon as the words are said, that we love hard and we fight hard. I knew they was in a, an abusive fucking relationship. That they in a relationship where they fight each other, this and that and other. He goes on to say some bullshit like... Uh, Oh, what's her name? Contact me and wanted me to do something with her plumbing. And, you know, I said I'm doing cabinets, but I know she wanted to. Yeah, what? Child, if my husband ever said some shit like that to me, I, 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 mm -mm. we're going to move forward because there's no need for me to go into that. Oh, Lord, just thinking about it irritates me. And she's like, hold up, you know. So she's trying to find out information about her. Now, let's stop there. Now, in the midst of this shit, we have Renee, you know, going through her shit. She can't sleep, this and that and other. Y'all know I'll be all over the place, so, you know, it is what it is. She can't sleep, so she goes somewhere and she's like, look, I was on them pills, got off of them, and I need something that will help me. You will suggest it. He was like, I'm going to do an IV, and it will help you to relax. No sooner than she was there, she gets the phone call that... Her son has been in an accident or some shit like that. And she's like, I'm about to rip this out. And I was like, girl, don't rip it out. I'm so glad she didn't. They took it out. She's frantic. I'm like, Lord, what's going on? You know, as a mother, it's like, ooh, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, and I'm moving this myself. Oh, my God. Y'all, it's nothing. I was thinking something on my fucking nose. I'm sorry. Anywho, so she gets there. You know, and she sees him. There's an ambulance. She's upset. Turns out he had to have surgery, mess up his Achilles uh, heel or whatever, and that's painful, I'm sure. So after this, she goes to Kern's house, which Kern has, you know, a uh, big Ange over. Okay. Now, before we get to that shit, I'm trying to think. Did Big Ange find out then? How did this shit go? Before or after. However, there was a point when Big Ange found out that her cousin, who her and uh, Renee's husband was doing a robbery and a man was shot and killed. Now, this is why I want to pause because Ange, honestly, she's saying, you know, you do it, you do the crime, this and that and other. But she feels like, you know, which he is turned, everybody knows that he turned evidence and all of that to get his ass out of that. Yes, he is a fucking rat. You know, and because of that, her cousin got 30-something odd years. He's already at a particular age. You know, she instantly calls Drita. And Drita's like, that's like, yeah, like um, life. You know, and it's like, I got to get off this phone. I can't talk about it. She's all upset. She's in her feelings and shit. Okay. That was one thing. Now, back to at Kern's house when... Uh, Big Ann shows up and I think, I'm trying to think Big Ann's is already there and then Renee comes you know, and uh, 
Karen's like, well, did you hear her son has surgery? She's like, no, you know, that whole shit. About that time, Renee comes in and she's like, oh, I'm under so much stress. Oh, my God. I'm just not that, you know, it could have been, he could have had a toenail taken off and she would have still been, I'm under so much stress. I can't, oh, Lord, what's going on? You know, this bitch is frantic about everything. But this time, she has a reason to be frantic. She's sitting down. She's talking. Yada, yada, yada. And she instantly starts doing, you know, of course, Renee going to be throwing shade and this and that. Well, actually, Renee was kind of like, you know, she started crying. I'm emotional. I need to know. You know what I'm saying? That I, it hurts me to know that you continue to support this woman who is, you know, downing me and dogging me. But yet we go back further. Of course, Big Ann's right away. She's on the motherfucking defense and she feels some kind of way about the shit Renee said. Well, she has the right to do that. Again, I'm not understanding why. She is fighting so hard for this bitch who Renee's the one who brought the bitch in. You know, it's because she said, well, bitch, she was good enough then. Evidently, she's all right. You know, I, I don't know what this holding on to her is about because I don't get it out of her Audrey. Now, with that being said, Karen, let me have your little mama with your man. I don't give a fuck what he came there looking like. That motherfucker was cheating and as simple as that. You know, it's simple as that. But if you want to be boo-boo the motherfucking fool and keep taking his ass back, then so motherfucking be it. Bitch, you know, you my girl, honey. I'll be here for you to uh, get the pieces and this and that. Now, that motherfucker's cheating. And he's going to do it again. It's simple as that. But you took his ass back and you said you was going to save face, honey. You should have been like, okay, I accept your apology. That's fine. I'll try to get back with you or something. You should have cut that shit short. He shouldn't have never felt okay. He should have been fucking worried that you was never going to look back at his ass again. Just saying, if you do it again, that's it. He didn't got your ass now. He know that if he comes a certain kind of way, your ass going to get weak, and you will. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. Okay, I admit, I had a couple cracks. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, so... Um, excuse me, y'all, because I like the crumbs. That I'm sorry, y'all. Damn, did a whole crack on that? What the fuck? I can't stand crumbs on me. Anyway, so okay, we have that shit now. Let's go to Drita, who's being invited to go to this thing. She's talking to a friend, and they're talking about New York Fashion Week and this and that and other. And they was happy with the work that she done, and the guys invited her out. And, you know, she wants to invite the girls and this and that and other. And I'm happy for Drita because she's, like, really, you know, seeing my work and what Lady Boss is and what Lady Boss does, you know. So, it's a good thing. Okay. So, she's kind of like, I just hope it don't be no bullshit because this is kind of my night. You know, I just wanted to be chill. All right. In the midst of that shit, we shoot back to that rotten ass bitch. That Big Ange is holding on to. She's at her new place with all these stage motherfuckers in there. Here come, and honey, I don't know what's in the water in Philly, in that part of Philly, honey. But some of them motherfucking bitches was, they look motherfucking cutthroat. And did y'all see that orange bitch? <laughs> I can't. Okay, let's move forward. The bitch, now she might have been from Jersey, uh, Staten Alley, uh, uh, Allen or some shit like that, because that bitch was orange. Just no shade, the bitch was orange. Okay. So, this one chick says, I got something for you. She brings all of these uh, records and this and that and other of where old girl then, you know, took out protection orders on her man and this and that and other. She done violated. He apparently done, done it too for her to be the violated hers. I'm just saying EPO shit. And like I said, she stated, she said, we love hard and we fight hard. I knew it from then, okay? Okay, she's like, well, I'm going to have my shit. You know, she think her mouth is motherfucking Trump, motherfucking tight. But one thing about it, I checked your motherfucking shit, and I really kind of checked you too, Karen, because you doing that titty bump you tried to do with her when y'all was trying to fight, girl, please. When you was up on that motherfucking roof and you and Drita, 
and all that shit was going on, bitch. It wasn't about titty bumping, but I guess you knew she was a titty bumper kind of bitch. But you knew when you was fucking with Drita, you was going to have to put your hands up, honey. You was going to have to reach out and touch her. You know, but that bitch ain't about it. And I can see this bitch is shaky. Okay, now. She done got her shit. They both getting information on each other. Now, Drita knows that old girl's going to be there because she was in the shoot. She, you know, put the makeup on, was in the shoot. Now, they all go. Big Ange is already feeling some kind of way from when she was at Curran's house. You know, this bitch is just feeling some kind of way. Ange, girl, you working my nerves right now. You know, I understand with your family and all that, but, oh, I need to know something else, y'all, because this shit ain't adding up for me. It's just not. Okay, so they are there. Renee and Kern, they arrived together. Drita and Big Ange is there. And then the new chick comes back. She's, like, introducing. Now, when Renee and them get in there, it's kind of like you can automatically see that Big Ange is sitting over on one end, Renee's trying not to look at her, and all this shit's going on. Oh, girl instantly starts talking about this bitch and how she is and this and that and other. You know, she speaks her mind, you know, and all of that. And it's like, okay. In the midst of that, honey, some shit was said. And next thing you know, that motherfucking uh, uh, Renee, she didn't hit them motherfuckers off with the motherfucking DNA. Is on the bill, baby. I said, oh, okay. We got a couple of tooting holes going on around here. Okay, who's tooting about? You know, instantly, Big Ed feels some kind of motherfucking way because out there said it's as if she's alluding to the fact that Big Ed's like, hold up, that ain't right. Because I heard tell that, I'm saying, I heard that down there at the drunken monkey when she was in Miami or wherever. That it wasn't just her, but, you know, mm. you know, bitch, do what you do. Every bitch got a motherfucking vice, you know, have had one in their life or whatever. You know, it can happen to anybody. But you get off uh, upset and you like, that's some rat shit and this and that and other. Now, you, and is the same person who said, Natalie, whatever the fuck her name is, she goes too fucking far talking about families. But yet you hit her off with the rat is your motherfucking husband. How the fuck ever? Yes, he is, but bitch, you went way beyond the call of motherfucking dude. You are turned all the way up, okay? And and I don't know. I believe this shit is deeper than what we are seeing because I'm not understanding Angie and this whole shit and how she's grappling and fighting for this bitch and you taking up for another bitch. Plus, you know, it's just... Uh, you know, Renee's like, hold up, you know, and this whole shit, and they trying to get at each other, you know, and I'm like, okay. And I'm like everybody else, Angie ain't never been this turned up. She's always been the peaceful one. But with that being said, it's been in her. You know, it's just a matter of who's right in this situation. And the truth be motherfucking told, to me, I think Big Ange is mad about what was said about the clown and her face. I guess, excuse me, y'all. I guess Renee didn't cut a fool and called you all kinds of things, but yet you ain't said that on the show. This is some other shit, and she's mad about her cousin or whatever. This is some deep shit. You act like her husband sent your dick to jail. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just... Y'all, I'm just not understanding what the fuck's going on. And you the first one talking about don't talk about family, but bitch, you hurry up and throw out your rat-ass husband. And I do believe on one scene, Renee was talking about, okay, I'm just not prepared. Even though he did do that, that is my son's father. So I don't want to have to deal with that or him to have to get that. Setting up the scene for what Big Hands is about to do. I'm just saying, I think you bitches is taking this shit too motherfucking far, and how you can get all out the frame for a bitch, you act like this bitch been your friend, this new bitch for 30, 40 years, bitch, you got to be kidding me, you don't know all of her motherfucking receipts, bitch, you fighting for her, and the bitch I'm talking to is Ange, cause girl, I'm not getting it, 
I'm trying to understand maybe the best is yet to fucking come because I'm not understanding, bitch. I'm not understanding, bitch. You act like that's your motherfucking pussy. Uh, you and her, uh, what the fuck? Are you her mama some shit like that? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't get it. Girl, you fighting like hell for some bullshit. I don't know. I don't know why you're doing it, Ange. You just look like a fool. And I believe this bitch is going to make a fool of you. That's what I think. Now, I do know, honey, she did let, uh, Renee let the cat out of the bag about the motherfucking DNA on the bills. And she said what she was talking about. I was like, motherfucker, that's what she mean. You can get DNA out your nose. Ooh, honey, they got deep, honey. And you felt some kind of way, boo? Hmm. Y'all, y'all tell me y'all thoughts on that shit. That's how the fuck I feel about the mob wise. My issue is, is I don't understand why Big Ange is ready to lay everything down. With that being said, Drita. But part of me want to be like at the end of the motherfucking day, I kind of believe Drita's loyalty would lie with Renee. I don't know. You know, but clearly, Big Ange is gone, honey. So, y'all, if y'all can share some shit with me, some shit I don't know, I do know that I didn't watch certain things. So, if you can share some shit with me and shed some light on this shit, please let me know. You know, because that's why I'm like, when I watch the shit, it's like, what? You know, I can't, I don't understand it. So, y'all tell me when they tried to do this little scuffling around, apparently, they did get to kind of put hands on each other a little bit. But, you know, it wasn't nothing but wrestling and titties bumping and shit, you know. And all of that, you know. So just let me know what y'all think. I'm out of here. Much love. I think I'm gonna talk about um come back in to talk about the what is the shit? Um what's the shit? The the shit on Fox. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna come back in and talk about that in a minute. So much love. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm going to get this one up first and then talk about Empire. That's what it is. Empire.